In King Hezekiah's day, the mighty and brutal Assyrian Empire had already defeated the surrounding nations, the northern kingdom of Israel, and even the fortified cities of Judah. They were now pressing down on Jerusalem. The Assyrian king, Sennacherib, had sent his chief emissary to taunt the Israelites to surrender. He wrote a harassing letter saying that the gods of the nations were impotent in the face of his mighty army and that their God would not save them either. Was he right? King Hezekiah was a man of God, and he knew that his God was not like the feckless gods of the land. Hezekiah called for Isaiah to hear a response from the Lord about Sennacherib's threats. Hezekiah went to the temple and spread out the letter from Sennacherib in God's presence and prayed, Truly, O Lord, the king of Assyria has laid waste the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were not gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they were destroyed. So now, O Lord our God, save us, please, from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, O Lord, are God alone. Notice that Hezekiah prays not for what he wants, but for what would be best for God's reputation. It's not that God doesn't care what we want. To say so would be an insult to his great love and grace. He gave us prayer so that we could petition him for our heart's desire. But what this prayer shows is that Hezekiah, under grave threat, prayed not so that he or others would be spared, but that God would be seen as the true God, not only of Jerusalem, but of the entire creation and all of mankind that all kingdoms of the earth may know that you, O Lord, are God alone. It wasn't that God required Hezekiah to disregard his own wishes in preference to his own glory. Rather, it came from Hezekiah's own heart. Clearly, he saw the taunts of Assyria as an affront to who God really is. He desired for God to prevail over the no-gods. Jehovah sent an angel to destroy the army overnight and sent the Assyrians home where King Sennacherib would then be assassinated by his own sons while, and get this, he was bowing to worship in the temple of his God. Indeed, this was not a battle of the nations. If it had been, Jerusalem would have been plowed like a wheat field. It was a battle of deities. God always wins the fight over gods that neither see nor hear. Humans tend to be selfish, unlike their creator. Do we ask for things that would benefit ourselves, but to the detriment of God or His cause? When we pray for something we desire, how often do we consider the benefit of what we ask to the ultimate glory of God? Do we even know what outcome will bring Him the greatest glory? Hezekiah gives us a lesson in what really matters most.